All right, so I've been doing some research after coming back from my buddy's shop about my uh, ABS module, which is right here. And, uh, yeah, used ones with no warranty or, you know, running around uh, anywhere from 65 to almost $200. New ones are running about... Uh, <laughs> I've seen anywhere from five hundred to over eight hundred dollars. Um, you know, I'm not going to pay that for a module. And basically, this module was discontinued in 2019 because I contacted the Chrysler dealership, and they informed me yeah, they don't carry this anymore, and you have to search around. So I mean, you know, salvage yard was wanting one hundred and forty dollars. I'm like, you know, that's ridiculous. And then I found a site, um, Module Masters that will rebuild these modules for $130 and I think that includes shipping so I'm thinking you know what I think I'm gonna give them a shot because they offer a five-year warranty and uh, you know it's a, they're over in uh, Idaho um, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and remove this module I think that's what I'm gonna do is just mail it off to them and I think it's like a three to five day turnaround uh, depending on you know weekends and all that stuff so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and disconnect the uh, plugs so yeah I'll probably wind up just letting my truck sit for a few days till I get the module back and then I'll probably drive back to my buddy's shop and we'll uh, let them install it because I've got some other codes that need to be cleared out of the computer plus a uh, speed sensor on the rear axle that needs to be done. So I'll go ahead and get this red tab out. It's holding one of the one of these uh, plugs in. I think I want to take that out. That's a locking tab. All right, this is a T20 bit. I'm going to go ahead and remove the two screws that are holding this in. Okay, so we've got a lock here. So that's the one there. And then this one. Yeah, this is the one that's a bit of a pain. There's the other one. This is the part number. And it's got another 
set of numbers on the other side. So yep, this module is now disconnected. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take it inside, go ahead and probably pack it up and send it on its way, and then we'll reinstall it and probably head back to my buddy's shop and uh, get them to reinstall it along with the speed sensor on the back axle and reset the computer. So that'll be the plan. So I'll probably, yeah, like I said, just stop this video here, get this, get ready to send it off, park the truck for a few days, and then we'll take it back up to get this reinstalled. All right, so here's a quick look at my invoice. It's basically $130 to rebuild my uh, control module. I added $7 for shipping insurance costs, so it's, you know, covered in case it's damaged or lost or whatever, for a uh, subtotal of $137. And then uh, the $12.90 return shipping price that uh, they charge brought it to a total of $149.90, so just under $150 to ship this off to get rebuilt so yep once it arrives like I said we will install it and we'll see if it works and again the company doing the rebuild is called module master that's modulemaster.com all right my ABS control module has arrived got on it pretty pretty quick they had it got it Monday fixed it on Tuesday shipped it out and it arrived today which is Friday and notice yeah, the box got a little beat up but that's typical of postal service but it looks like it's well packed and we'll get the Insulation out. There's the rebuilt module. So it comes with a uh, uh, the invoice. Yeah, that's what that is. It's a zero balance due since I paid online through PayPal. Yep, so now we'll go ahead and get this open. It's pretty nice. In three two nine nine five. It's got uh, looks like it's been sealed. It's got the warranty void from Module Master. If seal is broken. All right. Well, looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and take it out to my truck, and we will connect it up and see if it works and clears the code on my dash. Alright, ABS and brake light are still on so we'll see if we can get these to turn off when I install them on. I'm going to disconnect the negative terminal. Okay.
looks like the code's still there. I'll have to take it to my buddy's shop and get him to clear it out.